Hello and welcome, I'm JD and we have a 4v4 on Pillars uh, of Alliance versus OSP as is the way. Good to get some games in today, so let's, uh, let's see a go. So the teams are spawning in, it looks like we still have the 4v4 even though it looks like someone disconnected, so maybe they were just a, another observer. Sorry while I just move my uh, mic around. Looks like a bit of a stack over on point B. Um, everyone's just wondering who disconnected. So it looks like um, OSP is going to have a tug up the top. Uh, we've got some ships, maybe um, some tugs or some monitors, tugs and monitors, maybe, and then something down the bottom. Uh, and then from the Alliance perspective, We've definitely got something up in the point around C. Now, I can't hear the game sounds because my headphones aren't working for whatever reason, and I don't want to rec record it or broadcast it through the monitor for the fear of playback. So if we miss anything, it's likely because um, I can't hear any alert. But that's okay. Alrighty, so what do we have? Uh, two light cruisers and two corvettes. Uh, obviously, gun cruisers, which is the main build that we are seeing these days, is just gun cruisers, not really the missiles. You've got a heavy uh, cruiser with cannons, supported by uh, two uh, Iwa frigates, or sorry, an Iwa frigate and a capping corvette, which is off the side by Bob. Cannon battleship uh, in the center. And then a, another pair of a light cruisers with corvettes. I wonder if they're almost the same fleet, to be honest. EDL lab? No. No, a little bit different. But it looks like both of them have taken the idea of um, point defense uh, corvettes. Point defense corvettes on both. Mm, more or less. Uh, so what do we have? Spyro have over on the OSP side. A, a solo command cruiser uh, with cannons and sarissas, supported by a monitor tug with some uh, MLS-3 launchers, uh, going for the, the pylons, so uh, torpedoes. Uh, a little bit different. Usually they've, um, we've been seeing the OSP roll-offs taking um, size twos. Then we've got some line ships, uh, C-65 cannons, and uh, so 450 millimeters with two of those. And then some shuttles, so a radar shuttle, uh, a bloodhound, and then an Iwa uh, tugs and monitors. Another Acello, just by itself, off here, supported by two monitors. Monitors with mass drivers and cannons, and then uh, plasma and cannons on the Acello. Usually you don't see plasma on the Acello, but that uh, different build. The enemy secures only and the top one, just cargo feeders. It looks like there are. It's going to be a a, a missile. The enemy is securing zone dagger. How many missiles has he brought? The enemy secured zone Fair dagger. amount of missiles. A fairly uh, varied fleet build. Uh, we can see that the uh, Elint Corvette up the top, uh, undetected, being able to spot uh, down uh, from the bot uh, from. The OSP, as the OSP moves into cap E, uh, and they are slowly getting into uh, B here uh, once the uh, Barbarian moves in. C is taken immediately by the light cruisers, and D by the other light cruisers is in progress. And we've got the electronic warfare uh, radar being, or the early warning radar from the monitor, uh, spotting out a fair clump in the middle, whilst uh, a couple of bloodhounds are just looking through key points, although this one's looking into a rock. Pace of Silver, oh, yeah, the, the Place of uh, Silver, I should say, uh, has been uh, identified. It is getting a, a couple HE rounds being fired into it. Uh, it is getting a couple missiles off here from the, the size uh, one launcher. Now, these are offensive. These potentially are offensive missiles, uh, potentially looking to take out some of these mine layers. Ah, we've got a mine layer. Whilst over here, some size twos are being fired into the heavy cruiser here. So it'll be a test for its point defense network, whether it survives. 
Uh, hopefully they just waypoint around the rock, which they are making good use to defend. And it looks like it's going for the frigate. Oh, whoa. oh come on. Okay, good hits on that. Uh, taking out some of its DC, taking out some of its uh, electronic warfare and its reactors. It should be able to uh, limp away and heal. However, it's not going to have uh, any restores to be able to uh, bring it back into the fight. So whatever it has now, it has. Likewise, it looks like some of those missiles are missed uh, from the uh, place of silver. So um, didn't manage to cap A is dodging the 450 millimeter so that is uh, a benefit uh, to the alliance side automatically getting that third point uh, did cop a mass driver there but it is a, a straight up over penetrating it just needs to be able to get itself out now a lot of the ships on the alliance side now being detected uh, about half are being detected whilst the alliance uh, sorry on the osp the alliance only having a three being detected at the moment this mine layer just going to town uh, whilst uh, another round of uh, Diamondbacks are being fired. A lot of cooperative mines here. Potentially good to also mix in with um, just some standard mines. So that uh, when they these all go, if they get uh, clumped up into a one um, or all drawn into one ship, say this Corvette, you don't lose the, the whole mine laying activity. Uh, this should be destroyed. Let's just check it out. Yeah, there were some good hits. Uh Fair amount of missiles expended for that. And he's already used two-thirds. I think he, we said it was about 80 or 90 that he started with. Uh, but I think the thing that I'm seeing in a lot of games at the moment is uh, these small shuttles, these Corvettes that are able to get around the map really, really quickly. Uh, absolutely worth their weight in gold. And most fleets, um, you know, you should have, I reckon, at least two um, per sort of side. And something that, you know, is, isn't designed for that direct offensive, but more that moving around, capturing points. Vulnerable in the late game, especially if you also do have some uh, big heavy ships, um, such as line ships, for example. They're not the quickest uh, or the most maneuverable, so you need something out there to uh, just help along uh, the capping. Another round of Diamondbacks, uh, only four this time. This monitor out here uh, is just being able to sit back and continually fire, escorted by two other ships. We'll follow these in, but the point defense uh, from the Mojo should be able to deal with this. Uh, it shouldn't really be any uh, issues. Yeah, so some flat coming out. Cleans that up nicely. Light cruisers up here aren't charging in. Just have a look, quick look, you know, Parallax, uh, Defenders, Gun Plotting Center, CIC, so that's nice. It's going to be able to, uh, four stores, seven teams. It's going to definitely be able to uh, tank through some um, various uh, damage. It doesn't need to move too fast, but you've got the gun battleship here making very good cover. Um, you can see that protected on the right-hand flank from this rock. It's also being protected in the front hasn't been detected although it likely would have um, been as it moved from cover between point c uh, and where its current position is but uh, that's okay they don't know yet what it is line ships up here taking a bit of a tussle actually they're fine i thought they were potentially uh uh had hit each other and, and rotated yellow color great color there by um who's the player nasty nasty great color mate um He's, this frigate that has stopped is likely to be um, hit. No, gets away, starts to maneuver again. Uh, potentially didn't have a lock on it, which is uh, sending some of these 450s just a little bit wide. 450mm line ships is a staple um, of the build uh, for the line ships at the moment. They definitely can put out a huge amount of uh, firepower at once. It's maxing all those ammunition elevators. Three or four ammunition elevators uh, can really do uh, wonders. Really mind a lot of over here. Um, again, probably good to weave in some um, various different kinds. Just makes it harder to clear it. Um, but is going to move off to another point now. Potentially has an opportunity to get in and cap A uh, if they wanted. At the end of the day, they don't have to. Um, they don't have any cooperative mines left. So it's really now just a uh, point defense 
um, flush, what's a C53, 250 uh, millimeter AP um, shuttle. So probably only good for just sort of helping with the fight as opposed to taking the fight. Yusello has captured B, is just sitting now on B. It is going to uh, start to be, you can't really say flanked because it is the top down part of um, the game, but uh, is just going to be able to uh, use, make use of cover, hide behind point B. The Alliance does have the advantage. They aren't having to push uh, directly. The OSP fleet doesn't really have a pushing lineup, I would say. So if you've seen some of the games where, for example, you've got um, a bunch of monitors or a bunch of tugs or, you know, a rocket shuttle um, swarm that I know that they have sort of been a little bit um, nerfed with the rockets a while back, but, you know, you still see them in, in games and they can still do very well. Are very good at wanting to close with the enemy, um, get you, get making use of plasma, making use of uh, the plasma 100 millimeters or, you know, multiple Ocellos using 450s. We're not seeing that here. Um, So they're also then running into a battleship, four light cruisers, no heavy cruisers in this. Oh, sorry, one heavy cruiser. But a fair amount of armor as well that they need to punch through. And at the moment, they've only got the, the line ships and the Acello uh, that is really able to do that. Two Acellos. Six completely undetected uh, at the front there. So um, I think it's the angle here from the uh, spoof. We sort of drive forward. Just able, I think, to maintain position behind. Yeah, I think that, that rock there is just covering six's position and it is um, also covering, um, who's that? The I Hate Bourgeois. Light cruisers down here, however, have been detected. Now they've gone all flak, all flak, and then um, they've got defenders. They don't mind this type of ship. It's got a cannon. It's got a bit of uh, defenders. Very good against containers. Uh, just rebounds on this one. But again, uh, with a Mark 64, which is a 250 millimeter from memory. Just check the underside. Yep. Um, not only can fire a HERPF, which it is now doing, but the benefit of these types of um, ships, that they are able to contest a cap. And um, you just have it all point defense or just you sort of a naked um, corvette. Well, you're not going to be able to then capture those points uh, because you need to be able to contest the points. And you throw a reinforced magazine on that as well. Uh, you're doing pretty, pretty well. Actually, does it have a reinforced magazine? A reinforced CIC? And a reinforced mag, so yeah, quite tanky. The question is who wants to go where and push what? The, the Alliance here has the time, I think. Um, I think it's on the OSP to take the initiative because of that early a shuttle that was able to get in and take A. You've also got this one up here, which I would be able to detect the spoof um and blue uh, from the nasty a couple shots now being have been being fired from the uh, 450 millimeter uh, guns of the waltz of vicky uh, doing a little bit of damage but we are getting a pi some pylums now being fired out torpedoes away uh, the defenders are from the corvette corvette strategically placed at the front which uh will uh, no doubt die first but then it will continue to draw uh, the fire on however it is doing a very good job of just being able to maintain uh, all that defender output three defenders uh, four defenders nothing to uh, be sneezed at uh, it does lose its drive to a bit of rpf it is going to peel away but the 250 millimeters now trading fire with the 450 millimeters up from the slo the light cruisers are taking a little bit of damage here a bit of a, a debuff on the traverse rate there from no doubt some sort of uh, debuff down here uh, bearing surf, surface bent, but they're going to pull off just to start to get back away uh, from these uh, Acellos. So they are starting the push now. The Acellos supported by uh, these um, 
torpedoes. It would actually have been good to see the coordination of the torpedoes here with the missiles down from um, Colt because uh, I think something would have got through at the end of the day. Now, I can't see... It's the only thing that I can't see, and I, th I think I've said it before. I can't see what the missiles are. Are they command missiles? Are they radars? Can they be spoofed uh, or soft killed? Do they have to be hard killed? Um, I don't know, but this this um, defender here is doing its um, or Corvette with defenders, I should say, uh, is doing its job, just positioning itself in front of these missiles. Missiles are unfortunately going for a separate target. They know that they have FARC out here um, on the Mojo, so uh, probably not the best target unless there is something hidden in here that is able to uh, deal with this which we know it isn't um would get a few in doesn't look like it'll actually get any hits on it no nah, no hits so uh, not not really um doing uh, being too effective with those missiles the bad dragon however um sort of positioning itself like a bit of a knife uh, has been able to start to get a little bit of fire onto these other ships See just across uh, from the keyed ledge. Taking out some of the internals. Still got two restores, so that's good. Uh, mass drivers also doing some work here uh, from the monitors down. Down here from the Asian wizard and the knife thief. Um, just being able to get a bit of unflayed fire up into the shut goat uh, and to the keyed ledge. So I think that's where they're getting some damage from. Uh, rightly so, though, they are starting to focus down these frigates. Now, if you have the option sometimes, it is always tempting to shoot for the biggest thing on the field. But it is the smaller ships that will continually provide the utility and enable the larger ships. Uh, they're also the things that will run around at the end of the map. And I think rightly so, the Bad, bad Dragon um, and... I can't see your name, sorry, mate. Can't see your name. Who is that? Um, and Death Rat. Um, Rightly so, they've, they've taken out these uh, that smaller ship, uh, which was providing uh, services. So that was uh, providing additional um, output to uh, negate the uh, the pylons from the Reggie. And now they can get the region sails, but they're not going to because it's going to get uh, out of the way, same as the light cruisers. Then the um, the next round of pylons should do a significantly a uh, bit more damage. Bit of an immediate engagement there. The Acelo, no, not really too damaged. Lost an antenna. You can live sort of without that. Uh, it does have its own... Uh, let's have a look. Where is it? Da, da, da. Probably has a bridge master or something on it. Somewhere. Jamming. Radar. I cannot see. Oh, it's got a parallax, so, you know, it's able to still do its own thing. Did lose uh, two ships. Um, so, battleship there. To their alliance still haven't lost any uh sorry the osp still haven't lost anything a couple bits of damage uh rapid cycle cradles uh on the c65 rapid cycle cradles okay so just cre increasing the increasing the burst damage um and the gun pointing center as well just bringing those both of those back online yeah otherwise they these are all uh, absolutely fine Battleship uh, still sitting in the middle. It, has, it, looks, uh, it does look like it is um, coming out from this position probably to get the Reggie. But the Reggie, in fact, and now this has a number of defenders and stonewalls. If it can get close enough, it may actually be able to do um, a, a torpedo run on the Waltz of Vicky. We will see. Uh, that would be absolutely excellent. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll just wait and see. The light cruisers and the defenders now are moving around on, uh, sorry, not the defenders, the corvettes, uh, supported with the heavy cruiser or moving to support the heavy cruiser, are coming around to point E. They are going to get uh, some hits onto the grasp, the grasp taking a little bit of frontal damage, nothing destroyed, but uh, a few things on fire in the magazines, just a little bit of ammo there, so not too upsetting. Um, unsure if they can see some of these cooperative mines, you can see that this one uh, down below did take an RPF ship, um, hit. So, okay, so they do know it is mined. That will dictate how they approach point E. Uh, they probably need to come down a little bit, start to open up that angle. So if they sort of move um, a couple hundred meters below at their current level, they should be able to see these mines. At the moment, you can see from the ship uh, just about where the mines are. Now, all these cooperative mines hitting this accident would cripple this accident. 
However, uh, that would then free up uh, this ship, uh, these ships here just to run straight into E. They know that they're there because they are shooting at them. Hesitant to leave. Uh, pylons are firing upwards. Uh, they have detected uh, this corvette. It's only got VLS uh, 23s, one pylon now being able to... Looks like they're coming forward. It looks like they may be being seduced by the chaff. Yes. Uh, they are going to get away, I think. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's got ra active radar on it. Yeah, so it'll be fine. Uh, battleship here. No, no targets yet, but it is uh, firing down on... I think that's a shuttle. Maybe not the best target. Just based on uh, maneuverability. I think that the... 450s will miss. Yeah, so they're missing. Uh, looks like they've cleaned up all of the uh, cooperative mines here. Doesn't look like any of them hit or impacted on any of these fleets. Uh, yeah, I think that was fine. Line ships, however, uh, have come around, are bursting. Uh, through the front here of this whoop, of this heavy cruiser. Let's just check all that out. Just clipping little bits here, berthing ammunition elevators. Nothing important has been hit. Line ships, however, are taking a little bit of return fire. They are going to be slower. They are stationary too. So, um, while some good maneuverability there, they will get another round to fire soon. E to be captured uh, by uh, Bent here. Should soon come within range. Just trading a huge, huge, huge volumes of 450 millimeter. Come on, let me click down there. It uh, looks like that frigate's destroyed. A couple missiles being fired. Uh, the Acelo destroyer. I wonder if they're HEKP. Uh, we will follow them in in a second. Uh, 250 millimeter HE now being starting to fire, be fired onto uh, the Grand. Looks like they're just going to focus all of it. A couple interceptors are just being fired straight into the rocks. Uh, so not doing anything here. Cello destroyers, these are size 3 hybrids. These could be HEKP. Uh, and by their trajectories, it looks like they are going to sort of uh, waypoint out here and then shoot straight in graziers. Okay. We don't see those often. They didn't get to stage. They didn't get to stage. I think that's the uh, important thing here. Um... Couple 450 50 strikes on the lab. I think if they keep moving, it will be okay. They are capping E. I would expect them to then be able to pull uh, back out of E and into some cover. Battleship up here uh, is starting to take a bit of plasma fire from the Acellos and the monitors. Um, the pylum here, however, or the Reggie here uh, with the pylums, uh, probably recycling for another round. Does still have 40 left, so he does want to be able to repair another MLS-3 launcher, get some of those up. Question is, is he going to fire more pylums? Yes, he is. And these are super close, but the def uh, defender's just making short work of that, taking them out. Still going okay. I lost a few things. Adaptive radar, might mount gyros, some thrusters, some berthing, reinforced thruster nozzle nozzles, another ammo elevator. Nothing of importance uh, has been destroyed yet. Still a very fully functioning uh, battleship with seven restores left a couple of the uh diamondbacks now actually making impact with the light cruisers so um as the, the colt bolter comes around at the point four points to one 750 almost uh two-thirds of the way com uh sorry three quarters of the way complete never ask someone on youtube to do quick maths because it always ends in failure um now that we're going to try another round of acelo destroyers i would like to see these stage but they are being intercepted good intercepts here too uh, it looks like he's just going to get one left are these coming from the frigate no these are coming from the acelo these need to stage now and they need to stage there we go uh some decoys also thrown in there 
There, that's the real one. And that's it. Sorry, I didn't catch the actual hit there, but it has knocked out the the CIC. Gonna get a couple restores in, but I don't actually. I don't think it has any restores left. That's gone, so it did its job. Uh, I'd love to know. I'd really love to know what the the missiles are, but uh, the 450s where from from battleship are firing down now onto this other line ship, having to pull back behind cover. It is starting to take a bit of damage. Likewise, the Colt shield and wall. Uh, obviously named because they are the point defense options for the blotter, uh, now being the primary focus of uh, both Bob the Builder and uh, Bent over here, both of them uh, being able to focus down onto uh, this one ship. And because these are all point defense, you can see that just by looking around, I expect these to be ignored and the blotter to be focused. No other self-defense um, options there, but the... Uh, Mojo does does directly launch a uh, cellar destroyer up into the uh, top of the roof. Uh, only does have a few left. Two cellar deleters left. Um, no destroyers uh, and three destroyers left. So uh, must be a mix of HE, HE, KP. Um, it'll be interesting to actually know what they are. In the wider battle up here, these 250 millimeter light cruisers are firing now down onto the cellar, but AP uh, from on high. As it looks like the 100 millimeters are in range, as is the mass drivers. So uh, just punching back up, see the mass drivers there. Uh, doing a little bit of damage, but not stopping it. Bad Dragon making a, a decisive move over to point C has just completely ignored the middle, uh, has bypassed uh, this battleship. Uh, we have lost uh, Nasty over onto the OSP. The line ships uh, and his uh, fleets have been destroyed. Battleship was just focusing. But you're probably hearing uh, parrots in the background. I apologize for that. It is uh, 4.56 here in Australia as we cast this game. Uh, so enjoy the wildlife coming to you direct through my microphone. Battleship um, probably can just run into point B, capture that. Uh, also has the option to just sit here and help clean up. They are super close. They're not in um, the threat of actually being uh, uh, Okay, so we've got some messages here. Don't know what's going on internally um, So we'll just leave that alone I think Because I for whatever reason maybe I can't see their team chat try to edit that bird out i just queued his fleet i don't i don't really know what they're talking about i think i can only see team chat not all chat uh e still however uh held by mojo not much they can do there c falling back to the osp but uh let's be honest uh at 900 points there's not much really that can be left uh in terms of point capture they could probably still lose uh two more points and be okay 250s firing AP down into uh, the Bad Dragon. Bad Dragon's going to be destroyed, more or less, here. Trying to get some of his lockers back up. Power um, is going down in terms of um, both the reactors and the uh, yard drive. Trying to just get a little bit of power here, but really not going to be able to do uh, too much more. CIC destroyed, so the reach uh, region sales going to be able to move back into point B, capture that. Uh, let's just have a look. Is he within the point? Should be. Doesn't have offensive capability, so um, they can't contest at the moment. Uh, I think we were just changes discussed around our point captures and CIC, but uh, nothing yet. The solo destroyers are up. We'll see if they can actually destroy an Acello. Size 3 hybrid here. These will probably be um, the final a nail in the coffin for uh, Bad Dragon's Acello. Just check it out. I think they're just HE because they're only getting one impact. C's, 
So these being uh, recaptured now that a, a light cruiser has moved into the point. Um, Bad Dragon just taking a, a number of hits here. Mojo uh, moving away from point E. Got another Ocello Destroyer uh, out. Spot launching these, uh, maybe to get away from Flak in the future. Um, not in the future, um, just to get away from Flak. It's going to go for Death Thief, I imagine. See it angling forward. Uh, battleship taking some beam, but, you know, fine. It's going to stage. And, yeah, frontal hits there. That's it. That's game for the Alliance. They had it, I think, when they captured point A, uh, and then they uh, were able to just maintain their three points, their triangles, um, and I don't think the OSB really had the ability to push. Maybe some internal uh, team issues there as well. Uh, Hard to always say because I can't see team chats, but um, I think the Alliance played that one better um, just in terms of getting that initial cap in. And I've been harping on in the last few games of those Corvettes and those Clippers really doing um, really good work, just being able to get those, those points. Thanks for watching and take care.